How's it going everyone? ND Sean 45 coming at you. This week, the Irish hit the road to Evanston, Illinois to take on the Northwestern Wildcats. Now guys, I don't need to tell any of you how much of a trap game this one is. We all know. Uh, Northwestern, they're really starting to, to find their stride as of late, especially in Big Ten play. Um, in their last three games, they've beaten two ranked opponents. So they're definitely finding their stride. So that's uh, definitely a big concern for the Irish in this week's game. Now, on a personal note, this is one that I really want the Irish to win. Not because of our, not just because of our push for the playoffs, but because 2014, they, these guys came into our house and they beat us. And in my opinion, that was a game that we never should have lost. I mean, all Brian Kelly had to do was kneel on the ball and that victory would have been ours. But in the past nothing we can do about it now and I remember back then after that game was over I remember seeing a video of the Northwestern players celebrating and they're flipping shit because they got to eat Chick-fil-a after the game yeah yeah we get to eat Chick-fil-a and the only thought that's going through my mind is really we lost to these guys give me a break and I'm not trying to be disrespectful here but this is a game that I really want to win. Payback is a bitch, and I strongly feel the Irish are ready to bring it. So, breaking Northwestern down. Like I said, five and three, um, really starting to make a splash in Big Ten play. They're led by quarterback uh, Clayton Thorson, I believe his name is. I hope I'm not butchering the names too badly here. Um, and running back, Isaiah Bowser is really starting to make a splash on that Northwestern running game. Uh, so those are the, the two key players for Northwestern that the Irish defense need to look out for. Now, Thorson, you look at his numbers, just over 2,000 yards passing, 10 touchdowns. Very impressive, along with a 60% completion rate. However, here's the key stat. He's thrown 10 interceptions. So that tells me when this when this kid gets nervous, he makes some mistakes. So that's where the key on this game is going to be. Uh, that Irish defense, they need, the, especially that front seven, put the pressure on and then some. You force this kid to make uh, to get uncomfortable, he'll make mistakes. And that's where we're, where we're going to need to capitalize on. Our corners, press those receivers like no other. Um, offense. From looking at the numbers on uh, on Northwestern's defense, this is a team that will give up some points and they will give up some yards. So I don't have any concern about our offense moving the ball and putting points on Northwestern. But of course, with a, a trap game like this and Northwestern wanting to you know play spoiler and pull off the upset and ruin our playoff chances, they're going to bring extra you know they're going to bring some uh, extra heat at us and pretty much throw everything but the kitchen sink at us, which I expect. But I feel we'll be ready for it. I think we're going to counter everything that Northwestern has. Um, and just remember 2014. If that, doesn't, if that doesn't piss any of these players off, then I don't know what else will. But uh, one factor that does concern me a little bit, and none of, none of us really know for sure what, the, what his status is, but if Drew Tranquil plays or not. Um, I know it, uh, the injury was not, it was not broke, the ankle was not broken. Um, it sounds like he's doing fine, but his status right now is up in the air, so that could definitely be a difference in this game too, whether or not uh, Drew Tranquil plays. But regardless, next man in, step up, and take care of business. Um, so overall, guys, um, basically all we need to do is play a complete game. No mistakes, no coasting, like I said in the, in the Navy recap, and no turnovers. Thankfully, though, the turnovers that we had in that game, only one of them came back to hurt us, but thankfully it was pretty much in garbage time and it didn't matter. But no turnovers. We, we just play a complete game on all sides of the football. We'll be fine. So with all that taken into account, along with Northwestern getting ready to bring the heat and then some at us, I see the Irish winning this game by a final score of 30-17. to 17. Um, so there you go, guys. That's all I really all I have for you. Uh, the, the first playoff rankings come out tomorrow. I expect the Irish to come in at a, at a strong number three. However, I forget which one of you guys uh, told me this, but you th you thought that 
uh, the Irish might have a shot to crack it, uh, crack in at number two. I don't know about that. I mean, granted, yes, Clemson, their schedule isn't exactly the hardest this year, but I see the committee voting them in at number two just because, well, Clemson's just had more success than us as of late, and that's always going to be a factor. But I, the Irish, I definitely see them coming in at a number three, but I won't rule out the possibility that tomorrow night they'll come in at number two. Uh, never say never, but I'm not expecting that. Uh, so that's my final score prediction. Notre Dame 30, Northwestern 17. Just got to play a complete game to make that happen and keep doing what we're doing and not make any mistakes. So with that said, guys, this is Andy Sean 45 signing off. And as always, God bless and go Irish! Beat Wildcats!